everybody, my name is Lisa. Welcome to my channel. Today I am unboxing the Tilda Club box by the Intrepid Thread Company. It's a monthly subscription box that features Tilda fabrics and also always has a small project in it with the Tilda fabrics. So let's get started. I did cut the tape. I got this yesterday, but I didn't open anything. The first thing we have is a note from Julie, and she always gives a little quote. There is nothing better than a friend unless it is a friend with chocolate. Oh, that's sweet. I love chocolate, and it lists um, everything included in the little kit. So let's go to the notions. I always love her little bag of notions. She always has them packaged really nice with this cute little sticker, which I always hate to break, but I do. <laughs> Today is the first day of fall here in Virginia, and it's already sweater weather. Sweater weather. Say that 10 times really fast. So she included a bunch of little stuff. This, these are little cards for our little ring. This is the Tilda ring. I obviously have not used mine yet. You put these little cards, you punch the holes out and you put it on the ring and you attach fabric swatches to them. So that way when you go shopping in a fabric store, you have your uh, fabrics with you. I've only been to one quilt shop since the pandemic and I just took a little swap of fabric, but that's a nice thing to have. She also has Oh, I seriously needed this. So it says, I quilt for joy. It's a needle minder. A needle minder is a little flat pin with a magnet. Put the magnet on the back. So that way when you're hand stitching or I do a lot of cross stitching, you just attach this to your fabric and it holds your needle in place. I love this. I don't have a needle minder. Thank you, Julie. This is awesome. Um, there's another bigger card, some elastic ribbon, and another elastic ribbon. So I'm sure it's for the monthly project. And this is sweet. These are snips. And I have a pair of purple snips I use all the time. Uh, they're not over there. They're probably at my sewing area. But these are pink, and they're a little bit different than the snips I have. Oh, very nice. Just go like this. Sweet. Looks like they're made in Japan. I love these. I'm always using snips. Awesome. And then we have some Godiva chocolate, which... I give to my son. <laughs> so let's see if I covered everything in there. Let's see, pink handle thread snips. We got the enamel badge with the magnetic back, which I'm almost positive is a needle minder. What did I do with it? Let's see. Um, I don't wanna take out a sewing machine needle. Yeah, it's gonna stick. So, I digress. And then we have a project for, um, let me show you the project before I get to the fabric. It's a mini composition book cover. And I just love her projects. This one is finished by four inches by five and a half inches. And you can use the Tilda fabrics or any other fabrics you have. So those little, um, Ribbons are for the book cover. So here's the piece de resistance, the fabric, which she always packages in wax paper. And we got buttons. And I got buttons last month, but these are different ones. They're fabric covered tilde buttons and there are 10 of them. No, six, seven, eight, nine, excuse me. Nine buttons, very nice. 
And then here is the fabric which always feels so soft. I think Tilbert fabric is made in, in London or England and she gets it shipped. So let me show you the fabric. I just love this fabric. I've been collecting it because I'm gonna make a quilt. I'm gonna make a girly quilt for me because I'm the only girl in the house other than Jane the cat. So that's the first one. Very pretty. Ooh, and that's the second. Third. So like you either love Tilda fabric or you don't. You know, if you like the homespun, beautiful textiles of flowers and stuff, this is for you. Next one. Oh, look at that. And then we got the last one. So that's this month's Tilda box. The fat quarters of are from Maple Farm and Tiny Farm. That's who they're from. I mean, I don't I don't know those designers, so I just know I like what I like. <laughs> um, so what do you think of the box? Sometimes I get in the comments like, what are you working on, Lisa? What are you doing? So I thought the next part of the video, I would show you two projects that I did. Um, one I did last year and one I did a few years ago that are perfect for this time of year for fall and for Halloween. So hopefully I can get uh, it in the frame without looking like an idiot. <laughs> the first one's a table runner. And I made this many years ago. And I truthfully don't even remember if I used a pattern, but essentially it's four blocks. They're probably like four inch squares, three and a half inch squares. And I just did rows and rows of Halloween type stuff. And then I hand quilted it just a very simple, um, you can see. I just did it like a quarter inch inside the squares. And I and I also did some wavy lines on the bottom. And then the other side, it's reversible, is, so once Halloween is over, or you don't feel like showing Halloween anymore, I just did a plain um, fall decoration of pumpkins and gourds. So that's the full table runner. And I put it out, I have an island in my kitchen. And I, I did that. And then last year I made this. It's also double sided. The first side is a bunch of Halloween fabrics. And then the second is also Halloween, but just Plain. And I purchased all these fabrics at Joann's last year and it was very inexpensive. And what you do to make this, and I will put in the instructions, um, I think where I got it from. What you do is you just do strip quilting. So I did one, two, three, four, five five strips, okay? You just make a long strip, five different fabrics. I don't remember the distance between it. And then you take your ruler and at an angle, you cut all the triangle pieces and then you sew them all together using everything is with a quarter inch seam. After you cut, cut your triangles out, you sew it together to make this shape. And then I added a backing fabric. And of course I have some, you know, quilting in the middle, like some muslin or something. And I binded it. 
The binding is, you know, not one of my better jobs of binding, but it really doesn't matter. I'm more of the line of getting it done, not being perfect. Um, when I, if I shoot for perfection, I will never get a project done. I'll never get anything done. So that's what I made last year. This table runner I made a few years ago, especially the kids loved it when they were really little. Now they're not little anymore. And the last project that I'm working on, which I'm almost done with, is Into the Woodlands. It's from one of my other subscription boxes that I get called Little Box of Figs. And I made this. I have to add some of the, hello, <laughs> I have to add the um, borders, but then I have, I'm gonna buy some more fabric and create a lap quilt out of this instead of making it a wall hanging. So I need, I'm gonna purchase something with the red material and hopefully finish it up. I've been wanting to finish it up for a few weeks now and I haven't gotten around to it, but um, I'm gonna send that out to Oregon to my oldest son so he could use it as a couch, couch blanket, you know, one of those cozy things. So that's what I've been working on lately other than making videos and doing real work for my living, so. Any questions, just let me know. I really have been enjoying video making. I've been using a new program called uh, Adobe Premiere Pro or something. I've never made a video in my life. I've been learning the program over the last few weeks. Uh, my husband's been very patient. He's been teaching me because I don't know how to make a video, but I'm learning and I'm getting better. So uh, it's all part of the YouTube learning process. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, you can give me a thumbs down. I, I can handle it. <laughs> and um, leave me your comments below and we can talk about anything you want. I tend to answer every single comment unless it's kind of silly from somebody, uh, maybe a spammer, I don't know. I don't usually a answer those. But uh, that's it for today. I hope you liked the Tilda box. This will probably be my last box. I um, I received three boxes. I only signed up for three months and have quite a bit of fabric. So I probably won't get a box for a while. And um, But it's a great company and I just love these surprise packages. But I need to probably cut back on some of the fabric I've been receiving and start doing a little bit more work. Anyway, stop talking. I'm going to end the video. I enjoy having you all watch and being subscribers I really appreciate it and oh yeah don't forget I do have a giveaway going on um, it's for some quilting tools it's like four videos back so I'll see you in the next one guys bye bye